Hello guys, it's Noob115 here. I have bad news for you guys. I will not post any Hero Support and Chaos gameplays anymore. Cause the new update is really bad for me. And I actually don't like it. And I will stop playing it. And I will delete it. That is no joke. I'm serious. Like in the background you can see it is not Heroes of Ordain Chaos. It is another game. It is DC Universe Online. It is actually a really great game and I think I will make in the future like only gameplays from DC Universe Online. If you think you will unsubscribe me, it's okay guys, I can understand that. But the update is really bad, I can say that. It is really bad, I don't like it. Like the menu... I don't like the menu from the items and stuff. I thought it would be really great. I was really hyped about this update. But what I got was just disappointment. Like you, you, can't, you can't imagine how disappointed I was. Like if you... If you think about it, like I was playing this game like almost over 3 years. And now this is the point where I really stopped this game. I'm really sorry for that. But if you're still enjoying my count content and you say it doesn't matter what game, what game you play. Then, I'll, I'm happy about it, and it was a great time with Heroes of Ordain Chaos, and I miss the old times actually, the old menu, the old heroes, even the new hero isn't that great, I played with my friend and it, it was not that great hero. They buffed Hunter, but the first skill is still useless. The second skill has only a range of 8 meters, so you need to get really close and stuff. It's really disappointing for me. And Rockfist got even worse than before for me, in my opinion. I'm really sorry for that. And... The times when Heroes of Ordain Chaos got released and stuff, guys. If you think about it, if you just think about it, how the game was and prepare like my videos from the new gameplays and stuff you will see the game got totally changed it is not the same game anymore it's like you're playing a completely different game and that's what I wanted to say like that's my point the game got totally changed and game love got more greedy than before it's just insane like I will never again play any game from game loft I'm deleting Heroes of Ordain Chaos and I will not play this game anymore. Like that's that gameplay from True Line, I think that was my last gameplay from Heroes of Ordain Chaos, guys. I'm really sorry for that if you're really disappointed to hear that. But that's it. That's what I wanted to say. And I, sh I know, I promised that I would make a comparison between the new Hunter and the old Hunter and the new Rock Fist and the old Rock Fist. But I just lost all the motivation for it, guys. Like, I, I saw this update, I was like, Oh my god, new update, let's see, come on, come on, I wanna see the new Hunter and stuff. And I played one game, and it was just really disappointing. It's, it's really hard to play him right now. Like, if you're a newbie or whatever, and you wanna play him, it is impossible to get into the game with it, guys. Like, you really need to get your ult first before you can do anything. Like, they made it really worse than before. It's really just... Uh, it's really just disappointing what I should say for that. In the background, the game, like this universe online, you maybe you know it, maybe not. It's a free-to-play game, guys. It's on the laptop, PC, what you wanna call it. You can play it on the PlayStation 3, the PS4, the PC, and in the future it will also come out for Xbox, and it is all cross-platform guys you will not believe it but they made the game that ps4 players ps3 players pc players and even when the game comes out for xbox they're all gonna play cross-platform even now i'm playing with my brother sometimes like together he's playing on playstation and playing on pc it's possible guys i thought like that would be never again never possible but it is possible and believe me or not the save the servers are one million times better than from Heroes of Ordain Chaos, guys. I know it's a PC game and you guys wanna see Heroes of Ordain Chaos gameplays and stuff, but it's done. Heroes of Ordain Chaos is dead for me. And... 
you see in the background like there's there are so many stuff in this game like it's a free to play game it's free downloadable on playstation and on pc it's free download but in the game there is content like that you can purchase like new powers and stuff but if you want to do that i would recommend to buy their membership guys there is a legendary membership that is once per year every time it is only 100 bucks and once per year guys that's nothing it will not be paid monthly like eight bucks or whatever it will be only once per year like if you just uh, keep 10 bucks or something per month and then just but you need a credit card for it guys otherwise it will not work like i extra made a credit card for me like a prepaid credit card it's like from your bank account or whatever you can just put the money into your credit card and it's not going into the minus like if you want to do something like this it's really amazing you can get the full content of the game it is so amazing that game has so much potential like the potential is already in the game it is so amazing there's so much stuff you can do like bounties and stuff playing with your friends eight player raids four player raids two player raids playing legendary games like against real players like pvp or against just bosses like PvE player versus environment or PvP player versus player. Like you see the power, it's, it's just amazing. There are powers like fire, ice, celestial, um, what was it? Atomic powers, ammunition, rage powers, earth powers, and so on, guys. There are so many stuff and weapons that you can choose from and abilities like there are so many categories like there is a category of healers like there is a category i will count it healer tank controlling and damage and damage is on every role like every role you can whether play on damage or the role that you have if you are level 10 you can choose between the rules if you want to be a healer or a damage dealer a damage dealer is like every skill that you use make you cause a uh, percentage like more damage till the hit counter resets like on the left side you can see the hit counter if i attack enemies and stuff it is really cool and you see the lightning power from this player like you saw the chainsaw it's really cool it's an amazing game like in the future i will just post gameplays from this game if you like it i am really happy about it and you can watch gameplays from it it's an amazing game guys and maybe maybe I will play together with my little brother and but he will be not speaking but I will play together with him because it's much easier to play with a friend and make the raids and bounties and stuff because the bounty bosses are really hard like you saw there this bounty that I wanted to try there it was really hard I was almost dead but yeah Heroes of Ordin Chaos like I said is dead for me guys and I'm again not happy about it at all that I'm stopping because you like how, how I should describe it I built up my channel at first with King of Thieves and it breaks my heart guys it's the first anniversary of my YouTube channel and I need to bring you a message that I, I'm stop I stopped playing for supporting cars you know how much that breaks my heart it's the first anniversary of my channel I made it that for almost up to 3,000 subscribers and then Game of releases an update like they just destroyed the game. I, I don't like it, like the map it looks just awful. The items, there is no overview anymore, it's just terrible. Now you can see on YouTube so many players they play talk they stopped making gameplays. Like Ramli Supercell, I know him, he made so many gameplays and he was one, like he was my idol at first. Because when I was a player who was new, I was a noob too, guys. And he was my idol. I watched so many gameplays from him and stuff, and I got better and better. Like, sometimes I don't bought the same items like him, but I learned how to play the game, how the game works. And so I started YouTube later. Like, he stopped making gameplays and stuff, and then I started making gameplays. But there were also many other Heroes of Ordinary Chaos YouTubers, but they all stopped playing the game, guys. Because Gameloft just made the game worse and worse after every update. Like when Blue and Figure released, the game was still okay. Because the menu was not that shitty like this one. Like they put so many useless stuff in this game, guys. Like 
it just breaks my heart, really, it just breaks my heart. I built up my channel for this game, but what you wanna do? Like, I can't make gameplays from a game that I don't enjoy anymore. It would be a pain. Just to make gameplays that the community wants and stuff. That's what I wanted to see. I'm I'm not going to play it again. Like, if you wanna say, okay, I will unsubscribe you. It's okay, guys. I'm making other games. DC Universe Online, it's at the time the game that I played the whole time because I'm I have the membership like I'm playing I'm playing 100 a year but that's nothing for me and it is a great game there it has so much potential it like I say it has potential it's so much fun to play you can do so much stuff like flying around the map there are superpowers when you create your character you can choose between speed force flying or just acrobatics and stuff climbing on the walls like you can even make a a character like you can make him look like spider-man and stuff i don't know it's it, impossibilities are amazing like the look from your character you can buy uh, gear and stuff and the look you can change the look like in some games it's just you you wear the gear that you actually are wearing but if you have this gear there are styles if you if you just put it on then you are saving the style then you're still wearing the best gear and you can choose the style from a character. It is just so amazing. Like, but it's really hard uh, to get like, like what I should say, like it's not hard, but it's actually really easy. But after you reach the max level, like level 30, the actual game starts there, guys. Like I can say it's not over. Like main quests, it's still level 30. And then if you're level 30, the game opens everything for you. Like if you're level 30, you can buy really good gear and stuff. You're getting like marks of triumph, marks of victory and stuff and you can buy really good gear and weapons but you need to play like raids with players and raids if you play one you can play it every four day or every two day like eight player raids you need to wait one week every time like you can play it every time once per week and then it does like a cooldown if you play it but it's really amazing but that game has so much content like that's why I don't post it the couple days Rosa for the cause because I was busy playing this game guys. It's it's so amazing. Like I'll get I will get never bored from this game because you can play PvP and stuff and making races or other stuff. It, it, it is just an amazing game. And yeah. What I should what I should say about Rosa for the cause. Like I said, it's dead for me right now, and I I already deleted it from my phone because I will not play it again. I know I, j I spent a lot of money for this game. I even got the Dark Paladin skin and stuff. But guys, if Gameloft makes that game, like they ruined the game. Like you can see on every, almost every game from Gameloft on the Play Store or whatever the market that you're using. Look at the comments, just everyone. You will at least find only one comment. That is writing, you're making the game shitty and shitty every after update. Like after every update. But it's the true guys. I played many games from Gameloft and I just realized every update ruins the game more and more. They think the players want updates every week or stuff and they're releasing new heroes every month and whatever. Updates almost every week. It's just terrible. Why they can't just let the game be like the game is? How the game is? It is just so stupid. You understand what I mean, guys? Like, you see, if you find on the Play Store, like, games that got for years no update, but they're still awesome and amazing. Even if they're offline games, it is amazing. Like, if you just make the game how the community wants it, and if, if the servers are stable and everything, you don't need to put any update. It would be enough if they would do an update once per anniversary or whatever. But not like this. this. This is just crap. It is so disappointing. With every update, like you're starting with this update. Like let's say you're starting the game, you're a newbie. And you're playing like learning all the heroes and stuff. And it takes a lot of time to learn all the heroes. You can't imagine how much, I, how much it took me to learn all the heroes guys. It was a really hard work. But yeah. You're learning everything like you're a new and you have no hero you need to buy all the heroes it is everything new content for you You start there are tablets in the game talents 
other stuff, everything. Like you need to level up to get more talents and stuff. And all the pro players actually have an advantage against you because they have tablets or whatever. So if you're playing with a friend who is a really high level, you have no chance against other players because you're playing against high level players. So it will be really hard to get into the game. And they put more and more stuff into the game before the players are actually able to learn the stuff they put before like in this case how long it was ago that they put the dark paladin skin in the game or other stuff like the new ui and what happened they changed the ui again i can't understand i just missed the old interface from the game you uh, you imagine like don't imagine like remember the old old UI from the game, the old interface, this, this light blue thing and the old music from the game and this menu, it was just amazing, like there was, the, there was this slide thing on the left side, you can slide it down and up and there was the tablets, talent and profile, whatever and there were also events that you can do like all over all players, it was no ranking, but it was like ranked matches and you're getting these prizes and gifts and stuff and there was from the like 3 vs 3 map to 5 vs 5 map and the train map it, on the light blue like background it was just amazing and to log in it was really fast but now you start up the game it needs to load a couple of seconds then you need to choose between two servers like world to click on it then you need to wait again a little bit then it, it asks you like if you want to log in with Google Plus, Facebook or whatever then you need to click on this little G Live button there on the right corner that down and you click on it and if you don't make like your data is automatically saved you need to type in your name your password and stuff but if it is saved like as mine you just click on login then the login takes also a couple of seconds like almost two minutes wasted till you start the game and also the lag if you start the game like I don't know people are spending so much money on this game but it is not enough for game love they're putting advertising the game I can't understand that. Why? How greedy you need to be. You're getting so much money and everything, but you still need to put advertise in the game. And not even a game or whatever. Like a couple of weeks ago, you, you guys remember the advertise. It was not even a game from the Play Store or whatever. It was a Wii game. A Nintendo Wii U game, guys. You can't imagine it. It was an Android game. This advertise. For an, Wii, Nintendo Wii U game. I mean, why? Why? It is just insane. Like, Game of got so down, I can't believe that. Like, sometimes I really wish they're good, getting like vanished or whatever. I really hope that will happen. Like, I wish that all the players or whoever would just strike and don't play any Game of games anymore. That would make like. Gameloft open their eyes and check what is going on. But the people are still playing the games from Gameloft and spending money on the game. It is just insane. Like I also spent game on Heroes of War money on the Heroes of War accounts. But it was the times when the game was actually a little bit good. But now it is just insane. It is just insane guys. And it's really disappointing. And it's the first anniversary of my YouTube that breaks of my YouTube channel that also breaks my heart even more because I was like hyped for this update like yeah my first anniversary and the update will come out right away let's make a gameplay from the new hunter and stuff and I started I played the new hunter I was just so disappointed and after even when I started the game like on the left up corner when your profile picture is there there is a little bronze thing if you click on it there will be some special things but that is only for prestige guys like people will buy it to show off yeah I have the money I can buy this it looks really cool it changes nothing in the game and the worst thing is about like you're only just paying for it to pay again for it like you need to buy it and you only have it for a couple of days for one day 50 runes for one week whatever 150 runes and for one month 350 runes like if the 30 days are over you need to spend again runes for it i mean how stupid why why is game of doing something like this like after i saw this like i was also recording but i interrupted this recording after 
I I thought about it. Like I I told uh, I was talking with my friend and stuff, and we played a couple of rounds, and we really, we both really decided to stop your supporting cast forever. Like Junkuro, my friend. When I played sometimes with him, like you know him, I think. I was also playing on him on his channel a little bit with him together, like German speaking and stuff. But I was really disappointed. We both like when I said this update is coming and stuff. He said, okay, I think it's the time to stop here supporting cows. And I said, no, dude, it will be maybe great and stuff. But after the update got released, I was, I was like, you were right. I also gonna stop here supporting cows. I was so disappointed, guys. It was just insane. It was terrible. Like playing the game for so long, and then now deciding to stop the game. I build up my channel with this game. How do you think I feel, guys? I'm just vanishing this content that I made. It's the same like with Ramdi Super Saiyan. He just stopped. He just stopped. He don't care like cold bloodly. He stopped playing this game. I think he don't even announce that he stopped playing this game. He just stopped, guys. He just stopped. Maybe he thought he saved it on his Vainglory channel, but he stopped playing this. Even Vainglory is much better than Hero Supporting Cast, but I still. But I have enough from MOBA games, guys. I have enough from these games, from these type of games. Like here, I can make gameplays from DC Universe, guys. Like you can see, that's a PvP fight. You can buy the series. It's like the same from Heroes of Ordinary Chaos. You have the powers and have, a, and have a teammate. If your teammate is good, you can win this game. Like this combination from attacks in this game. It's like scissor, paper, rock. If you block... And someone is trying to normally attack you, he will be knocked down. But if you block and someone is using like um, block block breaking attacks, like uh, you see the stone thing I'm throwing at him, then your block will be knocked down. But if you're doing uh, like ranged attacks and someone is jumping at you with his attack, you will be knocked down. Like it's a scissor paper rock system guys but it's really amazing like you can even win sometimes against really high level players it's really possible because this game needs skill guys it's not just the fighting game that you're attacking the players it needs skill but it's amazing like I can post gameplays like this like you see how cool this is I love this game maybe you will not like it you will say oh my god this game is so stupid but I love it guys and I'm enjoying it a lot. You can play it with friends, and playing it with friends, it's even more better. Like you can create a league in this game, and then play together. You can create your own league base, and just put stuff in it. You can decide. Like if your league has over 100,000 prestige points, guys. Like you can put points in the league together. Like if you have like content that you don't need, like gear or weapons or whatever, then you can just uh, give it to the league, and it will be made to prestige points and if you reach enough prestige points to create a league call you can decide if the league call will be uh, above the earth in the stratosphere or underwater it's really cool like an underwater base it would be really cool to do this I'm like trying to make it with my brother together it's, it's just amazing like DC Universe Online it's about like the heroes that you know from DC Comics guys Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash whatever like Cyborg, other heroes like Starfire Killer Frost and other heroes guys it's, it's amazing like doing missions together enjoying the game, beating the bosses like making duels against your uh, teammates like you can make a dual mode and you can play against each other, like fight against each other to show how strong you are and stuff. And in this game there are there is two type of gears guys, the PvP gear and the PvE gear. The PvE gear is only good against NPCs, but PvP gear is only good against players. Like if you wanna play more PvP than PvE, then I would go for PvP gear and you can buy it the best like playing every time like this mode that I'm playing, PvP mode guys. If you play PvP battles and you win, you're getting marks of triumph every time. And you can, if you have enough marks of triumph and enough money, you can buy really good PvP gear, guys. And you can even play PvP with your own character if you have good gear. Because sometimes I met really high level players and it's sometimes really impossible to win against them. But it's such an amazing game, you can have so much fun in this game. 
Yeah, that's what I should say about Tourist of Ordin Chaos. I think you understand what I mean, guys. Like, you can still ask me in the comments why. Please, please continue. But I will not continue, guys. It's over. Heroes of Order and Chaos, it's over. No more Heroes of Order and Chaos ever again. The people who are staying on my channel and still stay subscribed, thank for the support, guys. And in the future, I will just post this universe online gameplays, I think. Like, there will be many types of gameplays that I could do with this universe online. Just let me know, guys. What you wanna see? I can do PvP battles like this one, or doing raids, or whatever, like bounties. It is just amazing. There is so much stuff I can do in this game. Or just roaming around, killing people and stuff. It is just a cool game. Like, here I was playing with Bizarro. It was really cool. It's a really strong hero, actually. It's like Superman, but I don't got enough marks uh, for Superman, like legendary marks. I needed 100, I got 87, but I I wanted just a hero and I just got Bizarro for 85 marks, I think. But Bizarro is pretty strong, like you see. And yeah, I don't know what I sh should still talk about the game, guys. It is just... I'm almost crying, really. <laughs> Yeah, I'm logging, but on the inside, I'm crying. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that. It's it's really the point where where I am too stopping Heroes of Ordin Chaos. I said I will not stop Heroes of Ordin Chaos like Rumble Super Saiyan, but that's the point where I, where I really stop playing Heroes of Ordin Chaos, guys. It is just unbelievable what Game of did with this game. I miss the old times from this game. I really miss the old times. This game was amazing in the old times, but now they just ruined it. They really ruined it. The new interface, the new menus, the new heroes. They just want money. And they made stuff really expensive. And, and, and you can even see if you're playing on Android on the Play Store. They got like 4.3 stars, guys. After this update, it got down to 4.2 stars. Like really, many people don't like what game of the zooing and you see her here how I'm dancing <laughs> like you can do emotes in this game that's really funny also and yeah I think that's it what I should say anymore like I said I will I will make I think a new uh, channel banner DC Universe Online and a new picture from me cause Zero Support and Chaos is dead for me. Really, it is dead. I will not delete the videos from me on my channel from Zero Support and Chaos cause I wanna keep the memories of the game. But, 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 but. There will be no future gameplays from Zero Support and Chaos. I can post every game that you want guys, but not Zero Support and Chaos. And not Vainglory. I am, I have enough from MOBA gameplays. Or whatever, no League of Legends, no Heroes of Ordinary Chaos, no Vainglory or whatever. I have really enough from that. It is just annoying. So I, I don't like anymore that type of games. I like more games like RPG games or MMO games. If you wanna see me playing games like that, suggest me some games, but not really high quality games, guys. I don't think my PC will take that. But I can play or try some games like that. But this universe online will be fixed. I will play it. And you can be awaiting the next video will be about this universe online guys. And I, maybe I will make a new character that you see how the game works and stuff guys. And I know I will not get that much of views cause my channel is about your supporting cows. It was about your supporting cows. And maybe many people will dislike the videos but it's okay. I don't care actually about this. It's just I wanna have fun guys. And share it with you. If you wanna watch it, enjoy the content. I'm happy about it. It's okay. And if you don't like the content that I'm posting, again, like you're free to unsubscribe, you're free to leave this channel. But if you're staying and still enjoying the content that I'm posting, then I'm happy about it. Like you can see here, the people fight against each other. Like you see the damage that he put out was so high that he actually got KO. Like, it would be not able that he get KO, but he got so much damage that he's dead and he needed to heal back. Yeah. 
that's it from me guys and see you in the next DC Universe Online gameplay peace